As you progress, you'll soon start to notice that writing path is quite tedious and requires a lot more typing than you like to. And to help with that, developers came up with two amazing features, the first one being called auto-completion. As you might have guessed, auto-completion enables you to automatically complete the path you're trying to write. To use it, simply start typing the first few letters of a file name or a directory name and hit the tab key. As you can see, the shell automatically completes your path and even adds a slash character for you to keep typing full speed if the target is a directory. Now, it might happen that when pressing the tab key, the autocomplete doesn't immediately respond by completing your path, which can be caused by two simple things, either a misspelling or a multiple match. In the case of a misspelling, simply run the ls command to double check the existence and the name of the entry you're trying to complete, and in the case of a multiple match, simply press the tab key twice to display the full list of matching patterns. Now, just in case you wonder, this autocomplete feature will not only work for entries but also for commands. You can try it yourself by typing the letters CA, for example, followed by a double tap. The second amazing feature is called the path name expansion, which is one you'll end up using quite often. This expansion provides a set of characters called wildcards to rapidly specify directories and files based on patterns. Here's a list of the possible wildcards with their explanation. No worries though, I don't expect you to remember all of them by heart, as you will find a cheat sheet attached in the resources. Let me now give you a few examples on how these wildcards work using the ls command. Here I have a directory with some different files I previously created for the sake of this demonstration. This pattern will match all file names that begin with a lowercase character b. This one will match all file names that have exactly three characters. This one will match all file names that begin either with a, b or c followed by any other character. This one will match all file names not starting with an uppercase letter. And finally, this one will match all the file names that begin with a digit followed by any characters and that ends with a PNG. As you can see, this expansion is very flexible as it allows you to create many different patterns. Once again, there's no need to memorize these examples by heart as you'll have the opportunity to play around with these wildcards in the following lectures. Now that you have all the necessary tools to confidently navigate the file system, let's move on to the next part where we'll cover the most frequently used commands for manipulating files and directories.